Hey guys, it's Brenda from Gumdrops and Lollipops Tarot bringing Scorpio their weekly love read. Scorpio, this is for the week of January 3rd through January 9th. We are going to do you, them, and the connection. Um, we are also going to get a journey, nope, a sacred healing journey oracle card from Angelic Revelation 144. And then a hermit card, hermit tarot oracle card. A white rose guidance divine love message. And then we're going to finish off the read with a spirit junkie, uh, general advice kind of message. These are our general reads, so please take what resonates and leave the rest. If you feel like this is definitely not your read, um, feel free to check your moon and your rising signs. If you don't know what your moon and your rising signs are, there is a link in the description box below that will take you to a website that'll tell you. Um, or if you'd like a personal read from me, uh, you can also check out the link in the description box that will take you to my personal website. Uh, I think that is it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I do appreciate all your support. Let's get into it, Scorpio. Um, ooh, the bottom of the deck is the Two of Swords. So clearly you feel like you are at a crossroads. You're kind of feeling blinded and um, not sure which way to head. Uh, but under that, you also have a soul connection. A card of someone who you potentially know from your past a return or reunion and that's kind of a nostalgic situation so maybe you have to pick between someone from your past and someone from your present I'm not sure um, but this is kind of more of like being blinded and stuck at a crossroad you're really not sure what to do you, you're, you're not sure you're questioning um, Scorpio we have you like in this energy I feel like this is kind of consistent of being kind of crying in your bed at night, um, sadness, um, really kind of stuck in your head, overthinking, uh, so much so that it's impacting your ability to sleep. Oh, goodness. Excuse me. Here come the yawns. Um, so just really in your head and really anxious and worried about a situation. I do kind of feel like that situation is going to be ending and you're going to be starting a new stable situation. It's going to be a situation that's grounded. Um, you have, you want a long-term commitment, um, stable situation. Um, and you're also bringing some like passion to this situation that you want to have happen. So I think you're going to be shifting from being up in your bed at night crying um, to a new stable grounded situation with passion um, or good news. The page of wands is kind of good news, passion, um, little sexy, um, fiery kind of energy. Um, but I think that that's what you're moving towards. You're moving away from being up in your bed at night crying. I think your person... Um, the tower is showing up for your person. The tower is like an unexpected surprise, right? It's not necessarily anything negative, but it's something that kind of flips your world, um, shakes your stability. So I think um, your person is going to be someone you, you're not expecting at all. Like it's going to be someone that you may have never thought about in this capacity or you never thought it could work out. Again, it could be someone from your past, right? With that six of cups card there. Um but it's going to kind of shake up. It's going to surprise you. It's going to turn kind of things upside down. Um, this person could potentially be an air sign. Um, they could, they're going to be coming towards you quickly and giving you lots of message. So there's going to be forward movement. Um, they're going to be coming towards you. Lots of communication. So um, the Knight of Swords, they're probably pretty funny, uh, pretty intelligent, um, good sense of humor. Pretty direct so I think um, you'll, you'll know where they're coming from and things are definitely starting to kind of shift in their favor so things are shifting I think it's going to be unexpected someone that's very direct commun direct communicator um, good sense of humor very intelligent um, and it's going to kind of prompt this good forward movement um, with the both of you um, so the, the connection um, we have the seven of wands. So I feel like this connection, as direct as your person might be, there's still going to be some guardedness. Like, um, as you can see, this girl has like all these wands trying to get into her bubble and she's only allowing this one wand to kind of get in there a little bit. Um, so I think uh, someone, I think it might be you, uh, might be a little bit guarded and unsure of how to, to proceed and move forward. Um, so you're going to be keeping yourself protected. 
um, again, the chariots here, forward, forward movement, positive forward movement, um, and again, a choice. So you're got, you kind of stuck at like this crossroads situation. You're going to have to pick what to do, Scorpio, and make that movement forward. Um, but it, there's an offer of love here. So the page of cups being here is like a romantic proposal, a gesture, a date, a text message, um, could be, uh, even, bigger than that could be a proposal but I feel like this is kind of newer newer energy um something unexpected so I think like a date uh hey you want to go grab some coffee I'd really like to hang out um so I think that there's going to be definitely uh, the beginnings of love here um but they're just this will happen after a choice is made it'll still kind of be a little bit guarded so but I think that's good I think that's good for you Scorpio I think that'll stop you from crying in your bed at night um, the Sacred Healing Journey uh, card from Angelic Revelation 144 says mountain facing fears, challenges, and overcoming obstacles. Yeah, and maybe, um, you know, maybe it's part of your fear is kind of getting into a, a situation or relationship. War, defensive, self-sabotage, and anger, and sacred union, which looks like a marriage to me. Moving toward, moving forward together hand in hand. Um, I feel like... I feel like you could have the sacred union. I feel like you're kind of at war with yourself right now, especially with this card here, right? Um, you know, you're really just struggling, self-sabotage. You're defensive. You're angry, perhaps, about a situation that you're you're in. But then we have the, the Ace of Pentacles, which is that newer start. So that's going to end because you are facing your fears and challenges and overcoming obstacles. Um, and there will be a sacred union. Oh, that's nice, Scorpio. All right, we're going to get um, the Hermit Tarot Oracle card or two for you, for Scorpios. Whoa. If I follow you, I could lose everything. Mm. Maybe there's someone that you have in mind and you're afraid if you follow them, you'll lose everything you have. Mm. Gossip only hurts more. That card keeps popping out out of this big giant deck. That one comes out, it's come out like four times, four or five. I just w wish things were different. And then maybe. So, um, I don't know if I follow you, I could lose everything. Gossip only hurts more and I wish things were different. And then maybe. So if you were just asking a question, maybe might be the answer. Oh, Sorry, my nose. And maybe you want things to be different. You don't want to feel this guarded energy, but um, don't worry. You're changing and, and, and overcome obs overcoming obstacles, so you'll be all right. All right, these are some messages, divine love messages from White Rose Guidance Deck. Um, I can never say it, but I do love you. I'm battling my demons right now, yep. And you are the song of my heart. So I feel like you are trying to come out of a, a very difficult place, Scorpio. I think um, once you do some healing, once this new pentacles, ace of pentacles starts, I think things are going to really be shifting in your favor. I think someone's going to surprise you too with this tower card here. Oh, good Lord. Um, this is advice from Spirit Junkie. Um, you got like a bunch of card so I'm going to read all three but this is just like general advice I, I think you need this Scorpio um I bring peace with me wherever I go so I think that's something that you should strive for my greatest experience of freedom comes when I let go of what others think of me yep and then I seek out happy people who inspire me to be great so those are your three pieces of advice you're the only one that got three cards but um hopefully something resonated with you Scorpios hang in there it's going to be okay You'll, you'll overcome your obstacles and you won't have sleepless nights forever. So um, until next time, guys, please like, share, comment, and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. I do appreciate all your support. Until next time, guys. Bye-bye.